Welcome to the studio garden today. I'm going to put together my first fall arrangement and I think it's going to be fun. I've gone and I've just cut some things. I'm not a florist. I'm an artist, but I'm not a florist. So let's see what I can create here today. I've I'm using this floral foam and I've soaked it. So I put it in my sink and I simply let it soak up the water. So I'm starting and I may have to go cut piles of things. I'll, I'll run around my garden and collect things because I don't have it all assembled here. So we will, we will just put this video together as I find everything. These are pretty. Big hydrangeas aren't brown yet. That's lovely. They're so huge. I've cut some salvia from the garden. Let's see where this, this needs to go. Some height in the middle maybe. So now I'm thinking these are just excessive at the end here. Let me shorten this. We can use the individual leaves too. Not quite strong enough to put in. liking it. Okay, let's go see. What else I can find in the garden, although that I like to fill all sorts of holes. Hmm. Let's go be creative.
I went around the garden and found all sorts of wonderful things. I found these gorgeous leaves from my Chocolata um, geranium. So I'm gonna put a bunch of those in because what a gorgeous fall color, but I think I'm gonna shorten. When I've watched, when I've watched people do this, they do the fillers, the filler part first. And then they stick the flowers in. So I'm gonna to attempt to do that. This isn't working super well. So I think I need to have a stick make the hole first. Yeah, that's going to work. Maybe they work, maybe they don't. I don't know. Okay, so I did go and get some, um, some of these lovely pods. These are Hmm. What are these? Do you remember what these are? I know what these are. It's it's a name that I absolutely know that I cannot remember. But pods from the garden. The seed heads. They're not from Zinnias. They are not from Zinnias. Okay, I also found, and I really like that, but look. Isn't that a pretty bunch? Oh yeah, that's pretty. That's really pretty. And I'm trying to do, I think, I don't know if this is the front or if you're getting the front. We'll see. And I'm racking my brain as to what these seed heads are from. Oh, it's coming together. It's coming together. I found, I cut some sunflowers from the garden. I love the contrast with the yellow and the purple. It's all about color theory. And even the spent heads are interesting. Yeah. Let it fall off. I'm going to come around and look at your side. Even this spent sunflower is going to be great. Okay, so from your side, let's look. How do you think that's going? I think I need a focal point right there.
Okay, that's looking really pretty. Maybe I need a few more hydrangeas. Let's, let's deal with what I've got so far. This one over here because if I put it down the table if you're sitting around it it's gonna look great from all sides so yeah I think I need a few more hydrangea heads I'm looking all around the garden for different textures and I just found this smoke bush leaf, which I think is really great for added texture. Let's tuck in some more of these hydrangeas. So it's all about living and working artfully. I'm not going to pretend that I do this all the time. This is not something I do all the time. But I did go and get the floral foam after I saw someone do this on a YouTube I was watching. So then I thought, I want to do it. Okay, I'm going to need something here. Maybe Isn't that pretty? Look at the texture. Okay. And I've got spider webs in my hair now. Um, going into the garden. Let's add a few fern fronds. I think the goal is is to cover up all of the floral foam so you're not seeing that this is so gorgeous the um the chocolata geranium how beautiful is that Let's put that over here. Short, I'm shy. I need one more hydrangea. Okay, so from this side, I need a fo focal point here. I have another. I don't, I do have a big sunflower, but I'm reluctant to cut it from my garden. Does that happen to any of you? You have such pretty things in your garden and then, you know, to cut them and put them in arrangement is difficult. I need a few more fern fronds. Go 
it'll be a nice focal point on this side. I think I need a few more echinacea. That's what this is from the echinacea. And I do need one more sunflower. Pretty. Pretty. Okay. I did cut some cosmos and we can make a little area by adding the cosmos. Yeah, that's so pretty. This is just texture. I don't even care that there's no head on it. I think I want a little more cosmos. This is really actually very fun to do with everything in the garden. Wow. I've got all my debris over here. this side I really like it you know little pumpkins might might be cute in there too but I don't have any of those and I'm reluctant to add I have some red zinnias but I have some cool zinnia heads let me get them. okay I found a few more things now my zinnias at the end of the year have developed a kind of a powdery mildew but look at look at that neat head what if I put that right there? I found another salvia. Just this seed head on this side. And let's see, where do we want this guy?
Ooh, that looks nice. Curved like that. Okay, not so sure about this one. Okay, I'm feeling like I need something here. And I love the drama of that. I might go get a bigger frond to do that. And then I need something here. And I need a few more seed heads, I think, over here. Okay, I actually got some ferns that are a little lighter in color. Stick those in there and pull those around and tuck that in. Oh, I like that. Can you see? I, I will, I'll do a little razzle dazzle, pull the camera around when I'm done. A few of these seed heads over here. And I found, oh, look at, we've got a bug, a little butterfly, or a little, a little uh, ladybug. Okay, it may not be perfect, but it looks pretty neat if I do say so. I'm wondering if I want a big leaf, a hosta leaf, some sort of larger leaved element. What about even? Okay, everything. Okay, I went and I got a hosta leaf that I might stick in here, like it. And then let's do a big one. From this side, that looks great, I think. Okay, and then we'll finish the composition. My grandkids love to come have a little jar with a frog, one of those frogs that you put all the stems in. That looks great. And they love to go and cut. Okay, and they love to make little arrangements. I had some evergreen, but it might be too much. Okay, I'm gonna clean up my mess and then I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna do a little tour of it with the camera. So here is my arrangement. I might, in the camera, this looks really long. So I might take that out and shorten it a little bit. But here is all the things that I found in my autumn garden. And we'll circle around. So which side do you think is the front? Ooh, I'm kind of liking this side too. I don't know. Looks kind of great here on my, on my table. Well, thanks for watching. It was fun to do this with you.